The struggle from day to day, it's daunting. I never thought it was going to come to this. I felt like a failure. It was just me and my cat and I just parked in an alley and we were kind of isolated. You get depressed, you get sad because you think nobody cares. It's hard for people to ask for help. You know, that's just the way it is. Many people are not homeless by choice. There are many people in our community right now who are one paycheck away from being homeless. Our Kid at House Partnership is a homeless service provider that provides service throughout the county to people who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. I think housing is an absolute necessity and we have lack of housing. Most of the people we serve are people like you and I who have had medical bills that are out of control and they just can't pay them, whose rents have been increased dramatically over the last two years and some people just can't afford to pay the rent anymore. And so they're sleeping in their cars, they're sleeping in tents, they're sleeping at the marsh and they're coming to us for food support and assistance. We are serving more people than ever who are hungry and more people than ever who are homeless. The numbers aren't going down. It's a crisis and it's not just um, Arcata and Humboldt County, it's California and the rest of the nation. Homelessness is an environmental issue, a healthcare issue, a business issue, a tourist issue. All of those things are affected by homelessness. Business owners oftentimes will cite, you know, losses in revenue and a decrease in foot traffic. People see a lot of people who are homeless hanging out outside of your store, then probably they're not going to feel so comfortable going into your store. But what people don't understand is often those people who are outside of your store could be helped and could be moved along to permanent housing if we had an opportunity. So. You know, there's certainly a financial impact. There's a, an impact on a feeling of safety and security. Uh, and there's a, just an overall impact on the health and vitality of our city. The face of the homeless that we're seeing is not just the person who is talking to themselves on the plaza. It's really about the person sitting next to you who is at your job or the student who's sitting next to your child in school and you just don't know that they're homeless and that vulnerable. A huge part of our houselessness in our community is students. Oftentimes they end up in their cars. They end up couch surfing. I know when I, I was houseless and I was in my car, I looked like I was camping with my daughter. And I've been homeless myself. And, and I understand what it feels like that comes with being homeless and, 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 and not having a place to call your own. The average age of the person on the street is drastically increasing. First time homelessness for people over 50, over 60, it's really mind boggling. We couldn't afford the rent without a roommate. And we couldn't find the right roommate. So we lost the apartment. We ended up homeless. You struggle from day to day. You're not only worried about today, but you're worried about tomorrow and where you're going to go and, and, and where you're going to get that meal and um, if you're going to get that meal. Dumpster diving doesn't become apparent until you're homeless. You can't find a meal and then all of a sudden the dumpster looks good. And you think, well, I, I never thought I'd ever do that. But you're there and you're doing it. It's not going to get any better unless we collectively make a decision to make it better. There's a tremendous amount of hope as we're facing people who have no hope. Arcata House Partnership has been fortunate to receive a grant for a Home Key 2 project. We're calling that The Grove. It's for a 60-unit apartment complex to provide permanent housing for people who are homeless. Homelessness can be cured. The solution to homelessness is housing.